Good afternoon, friends and fam of YouTube. Today I'm gonna to tackle that stupid, stupid 500, 600, 700 dollars. I can't even remember how much it was. Chase Bay power steer, power steering reservoir and line kit. Um, as you can tell, it's leaking. Uh, they told me they want me to take it apart, take pictures of the mating surfaces make sure they're clean and then reassemble. And I'm gonna do that now. But like, I don't think it's gonna do anything. I just wish companies would, and I hope they do stand by their product because this was expensive. And I'm just, it's the only thing impeding me from really driving this thing. So uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. All right, so. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is some fluid right there. It's dripping on the harness. And that to me looks like it's coming from the crimp, which is what I stated to them the, in the first place. So if that's the case, I really hope it's not. But I just want to show you guys, that's exactly what I suspected it was to begin with. All right, so I did what they said, <clears throat> take both ends off, clean the mating surfaces. I mean, these are AN fittings. I've never had to do that, but I will listen to their advice and go from there. This one, it doesn't look banged up, but some of the um, coating is off, but like all I did was tighten it. So, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't thrown around the garage. So um, yeah, I'm gonna clean that mating surface really good now that it's somewhat attached here. And then this one, again, I'm gonna tighten the crap out of them. And I just took a bunch of pictures, which I'll pop on the screen for you guys all over the place so you could check them out. But um, I heard from pretty big YouTubers that Chase Bay's leaks. And I think I even said in my, one of my videos, it's not gonna happen to me. And boy, am I biting my tongue now because it's happening to me. So, we'll see what they reply with. Obviously, I'll tell you guys, but uh, I'm gonna start putting this thing back together and uh, fill it up with fluid for the second time. And hopefully it doesn't leak. All right, she is put back together. Um, I routed the feed hose just a little better in my opinion, but it's just kind of torsioning it but there's really no great place. I think if it was just a tad shorter, it would be a bit better. But as of right now, I have no leaks and everything is tight as a tiger. So um, I'm going to monitor. It's not fully full. It's just like down to there, just enough to fill up the feed hose. I'm gonna come back and check it, send these pictures off to uh, Chase Base. Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update on the Chase Bay's um, power steering reservoir issue that I was having. Um, they got back to me in less than 24 hours and they shipped me, from what I can tell from the email, um, both fittings, the one that attaches to the steering pump and then the one that attaches to the bottom of the reservoir and the Dash 10 AN line. So. Stand up company, what can I say? They stand behind their product, which is what I like to see. And their response told me that they care about their customers and I'm gonna keep buying for them from them and uh, let people know the service that I got from them. And um, I really love the products. It's just if they, if they leak, then obviously I can't have it on my car if it keeps leaking. Um, but uh, for everyone who, who knocks them, quote unquote, um, my experience is totally the opposite. So, uh, the replacements are on the way and then this thing should be all good to go. Um, <laughs> insurance is on it today and I'm afraid to drive it because you, you all know how it goes. So, uh, yeah, here's to driving this thing hopefully tomorrow. Weather's supposed to be decent so I can get it out. 
Maybe go put some new gas in it because the gas in it that is in it is old. And uh, here's to ho hoping for no other leaks. Um, obviously, it's still going to leak a little bit, seep a bit until uh, the new parts arrive. But again, super happy with Chase Bays. Um, I'm still a customer. I'll still be buying from them. And uh, super, super happy with their service. So uh, that's all I had to say. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, that's going to conclude the video, though. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, everybody. Peace.